Hello. Hello. How are you today? I'm good. You? I'm good. Thank you. We had an ice storm yesterday. So I have been inside all weekend. What's your weather like? I don't know. It's like rainy. Oh, okay. Well, I would prefer rain to ice. Oh, ice with ice? Yeah. Oh so the sleet came down, it covered everything with ice. Yes, it was complicated. It pretty bad. Yes. Uh, here, um, it's not with ice, it's just water. Uh, no, it's ice. 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 No, 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 you just ice. had rain. Yes. Yes. Rain. I would rather have rain than ice. Now, I know that you have the books. What? So you have the books. Oh, yes, I have the book. Okay. Matthew, would you please unmute yourself? Hello. Hello. How are, How are you? you? I'm doing fine. <laughs> How are you? Good. Good. I was telling Louisa that I had ice here. We should have some more people soon. Here's somebody. Oh, this one tried before and, and I lost them. So Matthew, do you have the books to study? Yes. Okay. Because that's what we're going to use. Okay, here's Nancy. I think this other person is having trouble with their connection. Hello, Nancy. Hi, Mrs. Wanda. Did you have an ice storm where you live? Um so give me one second. Uh, okay. Mm. Okay. Ahora. Did you have an ice storm? In my in Galatia? Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> yes, I've stayed home for three days. Yes. 
Tomorrow, my child, my children, the half uh, school. Oh, good. Oh. I think Lena's having trouble with her computer. Okay. It kind of came and went, and then we have two new people. Okay. We had Louisa before, and then Matthew. This is his first time. Okay. So Matthew, did you have any problem um, getting the link and getting on? I don't know. Lena? Can you repeat me, please? Yes. Did you have problem getting on with the link? Uh, no. Good, good. Lena, are you having trouble with your computer? Yes, yes she went, she left again. Um, this is the second time she's tried. Okay. And then um, um, Norma Guzman, her family, her, her children had COVID, they got well, and then her uh, husband got it, and she's not feeling well. Wow. Hello. Grandsons are nice, aren't they, Lena? <laughs> Hola, Wanda. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm doing fine. So are you, uh -huh. you think you got it right now? I hope so. Grand uh -huh. quite helpful. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's my job. That's right. Ya está lista, ya puedo verla ahí. Porque no la puedo ver en la tabla. ¿Qué es lo que le pasa a la tabla? Está sin batería. ¿Qué, qué hago? ¿Qué es su teléfono? Ay, en este telefonito. Bueno, Wanda, aquí ya vemos la clase hoy por teléfono. Mi, 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 yeah. mi tabla está malita. Yeah. Well, Lena, Ajá. I don't understand your Spanish. <laughs> Can you speak? Ah, ah, sí, es verdad. Tú no hablas. Her, her, her iPad doesn't have battery, so uh -oh. she's using her phone. Yeah, she's using her phone. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. Lena, we have Matthew with us for the first time, and we have Louisa. She was with us before, and now she's come back. And what I was starting to say is that Norma Guzman, there's Louisa. Norma Guzman's um, boys had COVID and there's Matthew. Hello, Matthew. Um, and then her husband has COVID now and she's not feeling too well. So I'm asking people to pray for them. We've had a lot Here's of- Here's my coaching. Here's my coaching. What, Louisa? Matthew is, Matthew is my cousin. Oh, all right. All right. Well, it's good to have you, Matthew. <laughs> He's just smiling. <laughs> okay. So I don't know who else will have. I haven't heard from anyone else, except I have 
some more people that um, I are supposed to be here. There's three others besides the one that we were having before. There's three other new people. So um, I don't know. We'll just see if they get on or not. Now, let me see about putting the CD in. Okay, so this is where we were from last week. This is the workbook. It says okay, one more. Okay, one more. And we were on page 80, 80. Okay. And then in the textbook. A, A, K, A, K, A, zero. Eight zero in the workbook. And then in the textbook, page 120, 120. Okay. All right, yes. No, wait a minute. Yes, yes. All right, so let's uh, look at page 80 in the workbook first. But before we do that, I'm trying to get my page up that I have, that I usually put up and I'm having problems with it. So let's see if I can get it to come up now. Oh, there it came. Okay, well, it doesn't have the current numbers, but that's all right. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. Can everyone see it? The verse for today is come to me and I will give you rest. And this is found in the book of Matthew in the New Testament, chapter 11, verse 28. And it's Jesus saying that he will give us rest. It's Jesus who's saying, come to him. And when I am all having problems and everything, when I take them to him, then I find the rest. When I try to do it myself, it's still a mess. Okay. Um, what are our English vowels? A. What is this A. a. E, I, I, O, U, U. Okay, now these, these numbers are wrong there. So I'm going to change them. And that one's 120, yeah. So we're going to start on the workbook, not the textbook. And then some of the words that we have been working on that are very, very similar. These first three actually sound alike. Mm -hmm. Just as though it, they're the same, but they don't mean the same. 
So this is two, it indicates motion. I'm going to work, we are going to school, we are starting to study. You add another zero and it becomes also. Tomorrow I am going to the post office and the bank too, also, as well as, or it could be excessively. We had too much ice yesterday. Mm -hmm. And then this one is the number two. So there are two people on the phone. Um, then this one is then a point in time. Um, we will start class, then we will study. Van is comparing. The snow last time was much more than this time. It's comparing two things. There is talking about a place, Gallatin, Colombia, Venezuela, Springfield. That's a place there. Yeah. Then I'm going to move this down. There with an apostrophe means they are. They are studying English. You're talking about more than one person. You're not talking directly to them. You're talking about them. They are. And then there, T-H-E-I-R, says it belongs to them. It's possessive. Your, it belongs to you. It's also possessive. Um, your grandson is yours. Mm -hmm. Nancy's son is hers. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we have another your, pronounced exactly the same, but this one is a combination, a contraction of you are. So we have they are and you are, and then down here, we have, we are, we're. Then if you take that apostrophe out, it's were, it's the past tense. We were studying yesterday. Then you put an H in there and it's where. It's a place. Venezuela, Colombia, Gallatin, uh, Springfield, a place. But W-E-A-R is closed, to have clothes on. That's where. Mm -hmm. And these are just some of the problem words that we have. There are a lot of problems, like right here aren't, are not, <laughs> and it just says aren't. <laughs> now, let's talk about the names of streets. Here on a street sign, you don't see the word spelled out. You just see ST for street, LN for lane, RD for road, DR for drive, BLVD for boulevard, AVE for avenue, PT for point, PK for pike, and then HWY for highway. I live near Highway 76. 
All right, now we are going to go on to the workbook, but if you're talking about A, one, A, A word, A day, A storm, you're talking about one, it's A, but if it has a vowel um, in the next word, it's an. I'm not sure what that is, so I'm going to remove it. But um, okay, like an apple, because a apple, a apple. If that's harder to say, so you say an apple. All right, now we're going to go to the workbook, page 80, part A. And it gives in the picture, the address. Mm -hmm. So, um, Matthew and Louisa, do you have those? Can you repeat, please? Do you have the workbook and page 80? Yes, I have. Okay, so Matthew, do you have it? Yes, I have. Okay, all right. So that's where we're going to start. So, Nancy, what's number one? 14 Cherry Land. Okay, she started to say cheery, and that's because cheery and cherry are very, very similar. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of words in English that are very, very similar. So that's what's down there. See on, on um, the picture, it says 14 Cherry Lane. So look at the rest, number two through eight, and write the addresses down. Mm -hmm. And Matthew and Louisa, let me know when you're finished. One foreign cherry night line. Yes, Lena, but let's wait for Matthew and Louisa. Finish. Thank you. Finish. Thank you. Okay. So, Lena, what's number two? Uh, number two, uh, three, 14, 9 a street. Um, a bank a street. Yes. So Matthew, what's number three? Five City Boulevard. Yes. And Louisa, number four. Nine one zero Ryder Road. Okay. 
Now, one of the things that we talked about before is that in English, we don't usually just say the numbers out, um, 910, like on number one, we call that 14, not just one four. Or on number two, it's 1498. We usually clump the numbers together by twos. Uh, number three is five, but number four would be 910. And that's the way that most people would say it, 910 River Road. Okay, Nancy, number 35, uh, number five. <laughs> 34 Park Avenue. <laughs> I'm not perfect either, guys. <laughs> I'm not <worried>, Mrs. Watt. <laughs> okay, and so um, Lena, number six. Uh, 127 Light Drive. Actually, that's, that first number is 500. Um, I'm going to rename your, um, Lena, because I forget, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. So it, it'll make it easier for me if it's, it's yours. So it'll say 527 Park Lane. Okay, and number seven, Matthew. 14 Cherry Lane. Yes. And number eight, Louisa. Can you take me how I pronounce the number? 1498. 1498 Bank Street. Yes. All right. Any questions? No question. Okay, then we go to page uh, 81 and part B. Just a minute, I'm gonna have to move something here. Okay. Um, and you have three uh, signs of information. Those gray things, that's information. And these are apartment advertisements. Now, the short term for advertisement is ad. So these are three ads and it asks you questions and you're going to answer the question with the information there in the ad. So like on that first ad, you're answering questions one and two the second ad, you're answering questions three and four. And uh, the third ad, you're answering questions five and six. So just circle the um, letter A or B in front of the correct address or uh, rent. And remember to tell me when you're finished. The others look at me. <laughs> and so Matthew and Louisa, I can't see you looking at me unless you turn your your uh, um, picture on. Thank you. Finish. Thank you. Okay, so Lena, on number one, uh, read the question 
and then read the answer. Number, number four, number one. And read the question. Read the question. Read the question. Yeah, boy. What the address? And, and then read the address. What is the address? Uh, number one. No, number one. And what's the address? Uh huh. Letter A. Yes. Forty five nine Orange Avenue. Yes. Okay, so that's A. So Matthew, what's number two? How much is the rent? Lena, Lena, Lena. <laughs> Let Matthew do number two, okay? Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's all right. So Matthew, read the question and then read the answer on number two. What's the address? No, number two. How? Okay. How much is the rent? And what's the answer? Um, uh, how do you say that number? 675 or 675. 675? Orange. Ah, no, it's not. It. No, not the not the address. <laughs> Part Six, B. Seven five month. Yes. 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 Okay, and Louisa number three. Uh, what's the address? The one hundred three. Not one thousand three. Twenty six. Okay, and generally we would say maybe 1326. We are lazy. Sorry about that, but we are. Okay, and so number four, uh, Nancy? How much is the rent? Let it be 9,995 a month. Okay, and then Lena, number five. What is the address? A uh, fifty fifty Ocean Drive. Uh, A for fifty months. Zero months. Okay. And then number six. Oh, Matthew. I, number I number I know well, that no, no. Okay. Uh, Matthew and Louise, Louisa changed positions. And so I looked up to say Matthew and here's Louisa. So I'm sorry, I got a little confused. Okay, okay. so Matthew number six. Okay. Who much is the rent? And what's the answer? Eight. 50 months. That's the address. 15 Ocean Drive is the address. The rent is 850 a month. And that's B. So you would say B, 850 a month. Uh oh. I'm going to have to put in the other CD. I didn't look there. Okay. 
So hold on, we'll do part C in just a minute. And this one, you have to hear it. So you're listening to the answer. So it says play track 46. And this CD should be in the back of your workbook. And listen and complete the addresses. So these are the numbers of the addresses. I'll play it through twice. And then if we need to, I'll play it again as many times as we need. Page 81, exercise C. Listen, complete the addresses. One. 13 Martin Street. Two. 50 Angelo Drive. Three. 167 Green Boulevard. Four. 20 South Lane. Five. 184 Meadow Road. Six. 1245 Erie Avenue. Now, Erie is the name of a lake in New York. And um, that's just the way you pronounce that word, okay? I don't know exactly where the name came from, but um, that's the way you pronounce that word. Now, I'm going to play it again. Page 81, exercise C. Listen, complete the addresses. One. 13 Martin Street. Two. 50 Angelo Drive. Three. 167 Green Boulevard. Four. 20 South Lane. Five. 184 Meadow Road. Six. 1245 Erie Avenue. Mm -hmm. Okay, Does, do I need to play it again? Yes, please. Okay. Page 81, exercise C. Listen. Complete the addresses. One. 13 Martin Street. Two. 50 Angelo Drive. 50. Three. 167 Green Boulevard. Four. 20 South Lane. Five. 184 Meadow Road. Six. 1245 Erie Avenue. Okay, do I need to play it again? No. Okay. So, um, Matthew, what's number one? Read the whole uh, address. Thirteen Martin Street. Okay, and number two, Nancy. Fifty Angelo Drive. And number three, Lena. 167. And what's the rest of the address? Green Boulevard? Okay, and number four, Louisa? 
20, 20 South Lane. Okay, and number five, Matthew. One eighty four Meadow Road. Okay, and number six, Nancy. Twelve forty five Erie Avenue. Okay, any questions? No question. Okay, let's then go to the other book. And basically, we go back and forth from one book to the other because they work together. Okay, so this is page, I'm sorry, I told you page 120. Um, I'm going to have to go back to pick that up. Okay, here we go. So page 120, it says, look at the addresses, listen and point, listen and repeat. One twenty, exercise A, listen and point. One, fourteen ninety eight Bank Street. Two, thirty four Park Avenue. Three, five twenty seven Lake Drive. Four. 910 River Road. 5. 14 Cherry Lane. 6. 5 City Boulevard. Listen and repeat. 1. 1498 Bank Street. 1498 Bank Street. Two, 34 Park Avenue. 34 Park Avenue. Three, 527 Lake Drive. 527 Lake Drive. Four, 910 River Road. 910 River Road. Five. 14 Cherry Lane. 14 Cherry Lane. 6. 5 City Boulevard. 5 City Boulevard. City Boulevard. Okay, do we need to do that again? All right. Then part B is listen for the address, circle A or B. And you look at number one and they've moved the numbers between A is 207 and B is 270. So it's the number that you need to work on and look at. I, I love. I'm sorry, I didn't understand your question, Matthew. I lost. I lost. Okay. We're on, in the textbook. Page 120. Thanks. So now you know where we are. Yes. 
Yes. So we're looking at part B. We did part A, the, the six pictures. So are you ready for part B? And this is another one where it, it, you have to listen to it more than once a lot of times. So I'll play it twice. And then if we need to, we'll play it again. Page 120, exercise B. Listen for the address. Circle A or B. One. 270 John Lane. Two. 15 City Street. Three. 1460 Third Avenue. Four. 60 Park Drive. Five, 319 Sun Boulevard. Okay, now I'm going to play it again. Page 120, exercise B. Listen for the address, circle A or B. One, 270 John Lane. Two, 15 City Street. Three, 1460 Third Avenue. Four, 60 Park Drive. Five, 319 Sun Boulevard. Okay, do I need to play it again? Okay, I'm gonna take that as a no. So, um, Nancy, what's number one, please? Uh, number one is letter B, 217 John Lane. Okay, that's 70. 70? Yes. 70. La John Lane. Remember that seventy and seventeen sound very much alike, mm -hmm. and so it's really necessary to emphasize the difference. Okay, seventy. Right. Okay. Okay. Seventy mm -hmm. instead of seventeen. And the thing of it is, if you're looking for 70 and you find 17, you are usually several blocks away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not close. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Any questions? Mm -hmm. All right. No. So now, number two, Lena. Number two, A, City, City Street. Yes. And number three, Louisa. Number three, or A, I, A, 40, City, 30, Okay. And number four, Matthew. Um, 16 Park Drive. Yes. And number five, Nancy. Letter B, 319 Sun Boulevard. Okay. Any questions? Now, part C is you're going to write the numbers. So again, I'll play it twice. If I need to play it more, let me know.
page 120, exercise C. Listen, complete the addresses. One, 75 Sandy Boulevard. Two, 1325 West Avenue. Three, five Main Street. Four, 836 Jones Road. Five, 1514 North Drive. Six. 26 Town Lane. Okay, I'm going to play it again. Page 120, exercise C. Listen, complete the addresses. 1. 75 Sandy Boulevard. 2. 1325 West Avenue. Three, five Main Street. Four, 836 Jones Road. Five, 1514 North Drive. Six, 26 Town Lane. Okay, do I need to play it again? No. No. Okay, I'm going to uh, go on then. Lena, is everything okay? I don't know. Well, we'll just go on. So Matthew, what's number one, please? Seventy-five Sandy Boulevard. Perfect. Okay. And number two, Nancy. Thirteen twenty-five West Avenue. Okay. Lena, are you still there? Well, we'll go on. Um, she got up and left earlier. I hope nothing's wrong. Okay, Louisa, number five. Uh, 5045 North Drive. I'm at the wrong one. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I goofed. It's supposed to be number three. It's supposed to be number three. I was giving the answer instead of the, the problem <laughs> number. I'm sorry. So Louisa, what's number three? Number three is five minus three. Yes. Okay. And then Matthew, number four. A thirty six Jones Road. Yes, and number five, Nancy. Fifteen fourteen North Drive. And Lena, number six. Okay, Louisa, number six. Forty six Town Lane. Okay. Any questions? All right, next is a conversation. So it's page 121 and listen to the conversation. Listen and repeat. One. Exercise D. Listen. I'm looking for an apartment. 
Oh, there's an apartment for rent on my block. What's the address? It's 1630 River Street. How much is the rent? It's $700 a month. Listen and repeat. I'm looking for an apartment. I'm looking for an apartment. Oh, there's an apartment for rent on my block. Oh, there's an apartment for rent on my block. What's the address? What the address? It's 1630 River Street. It's 1630 River Street. How much is the rent? How much is the rent? It's $700 a month. It's $700 a month. All right, any questions? No. So no. What, what we'll do is I'll assign someone to be part A and part A will read part A part and then someone's going to be part B and then that person will read the part B part. And so you'll read it just like it said in the conversation. So Nancy, you be A and Louisa, you be B. Okay. I'm looking for uh, an apartment. Oh, there is an apartment for rent on my block. What's the address? It's 15 Jury River Street. How much is the rent? It's seven hundred a month. Okay. Now, Louisa, you be A, and Matthew, you be B. I'm looking for an apartment. Oh, there an apartment for rent on my block. What's the address? Matthew, you have to do B again. You have three Bs you've got to read. Eat sweets. 1630. 16 Right. Um, River Street. How much is the rent? You need okay. seven hundred a month. All right. Now then, Matthew, you be A, and Nancy will be B. I'm looking for an apartment. Oh, there are an apartment for rent on my block. What's the address? It's 1630 River Street. How much is the rent? It's $700 a month. Okay, Lena, are you back? Okay, I thought I saw it come, uh, saw um, the um, microphone come on, so I don't know. We'll just continue again. So part E is listen again and circle yes or no. If it's in the conversation, it's yes. If it's not in the conversation, it's no. Page 121, exercise E. Listen again, circle yes or no. I'm looking for an apartment. Oh. There's an apartment for rent on my block. What's the address? It's 1630 River Street. 
How much is the rent? It's seven hundred dollars a month. Let me know when you're finished. Oh, I'm finished. finished. Okay. Lena, are you okay? Okay. Just your phone's not okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Matthew, okay. Are, are you finished? Yes. Okay. Lena, we're on page 121, part E. In the workbook, in the textbook. Yeah, boy, one moment. In the textbook. Se me fue la... Letter, letter. Pay letter. This part, E. No, no veo bien. Oh, no veo no, bien. No, this is E. <laughs> B? E. e. This one. There's just three questions. Listen, 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 and then yes or no. Yes, that one. One okay. number, what number? Number one. There is an apartment for rent on the woman block. block. Mm -hmm. Is that in the conversation? Okay. Is no. No, it's not in the conversation. Where is the apartment for rent? It's on the man's block, isn't it? Okay, Luisa, number two. Number two, the address is 1250 River Street, the answer is no. So what is the correct address? 16. It's uh, 15 Q. Yes. Okay, and Matthew, number three. The rent is seven hundred a month. Is that in the conversation? Mm, yes. Yes. Okay, then. So part F, it says practice the conversation. We've already done that. And then part G. All right. In part G, look down at the little... Um, advertisements at the bottom, it says conversation one, one bedroom. Let me get it up here where I can see it. Uh, 600, 658 River Drive, and it's 475 a month. Conversation two is three bedrooms, 1920 Park Lane, 975 a month and conversation three is two bedrooms the address is 19 back street and the uh rent is 750 a month mm -hmm. so um we're going to do conversation g and then um 
conversation one. So Nancy, UBA and Lena, UBB. Okay. I'm looking for an apartment. And there is an apartment for rent on my block. What's the address? It is uh, sitting 30 River Street. How much is the rent? It is 709. Okay. Now, Lena, you do A, and Nancy, you do B with conversation one. Okay. I am looking for an apartment. Oh, there are an apartment for rent on my block. What is the address? It sit 50A River Drive. How much in the train? 475 months a month. Okay. Okay. So now um okay. Lena UBA and um Lisa use conversation two, that information to be B. I am looking for an apartment. Oh, and there oh. are an apartment to rent on Lina. my block. <laughs> Give Lisa a chance, uh, Luisa a chance to be part B. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <I'm sorry. laughs> she was trying. <laughs> okay, Luisa, go ahead. <laughs> part B. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is an apartment for rent on my block. What is the address? It's thirty three fourteen Cherry Street. How much is the rent? It's 800 a month. Okay. So now Matthew UBA and Louisa UBB. And use a different set of information. I'm looking for an apartment. Oh, there's an apartment for rent on my block. What's the address? It's 15 Drive Street. How much is the rent? It's 500 a month. Okay. Now then, Nancy UBA and Matthew UBB and use the information in uh, conversation three. Okay. I'm looking for an apartment. Oh, dear, an apartment for rent on my block. What's the address? Eight seventy forty private. Please. How much is the rent? It's 700 a month. Okay, any questions? Mm -mm. Any questions? No. So no. now at the bottom, it says show what you know, ask what's your address, and so you give your address. So like um, for me, I would say my address is 1701 
Martindale Drive. Okay, Nancy, what's your address? My address is uh, 2325 Nashville Pike. Now, Nancy, ask Lena. Lena, what is your address? My address is uh, Ken Avenue Altamira. Okay, now Lena, you ask Luisa, what's your address? My address is 10 Avenue Altamira, Caracas, Venezuela. Okay, but Lena, ask Luisa. Mm, okay. Uh, there is... Uh, there is, este, what is the address, Luisa? Really, I don't know what is my address. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you can use one of these other ones. <laughs> so just make up one or use one of these other ones. <laughs> Bueno, ¿cuál es tu dirección? Why is the address? Please, what is the address? Can I say in Spanish? Okay. Carrera 33, número 1434, Barrio Cristóbal, Colón, Cali, Colombia. Valle, Cali, Valle del Cauca, Colombia. Okay. Now, Louisa asked Matthew what his address is. Matthew, what is your address? I don't know. <laughs> what is it in Spanish? I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. So Matthew doesn't live anywhere. That's okay. All right. So let's turn to page 122. We did the workbook. So let's go to 122 in the um, textbook. And this goes back to, I went over it a little bit ago. The abbreviation for street is ST. The abbreviation for lane is LN. The abbreviation for road is RD. The abbreviation for drive is DR. The abbreviation for Avenue is AVD. The abbreviation for Boulevard is BLVD. The abbreviation for Point is PT. The abbreviation for Pike is PK. And the abbreviation for Highway is HWY. Now, on page 122, in the textbook, it says, write the abbreviation. And you have um, the list of abbreviations up there in the um, box. And then you have the words written out. Um, there are seven of them there.
Finish. Okay. Finish. Okay. So, um, Matthew, what's number one? Read the full word and then just the letters. Read S T. Okay. And number two, Nancy. Avenue A B E. And number three, Lena. Mm. Three, three die. Drive. Drive. And and what do you write? The dr. Uh, uh, sitting, sitting die. No, no, no. We're on page one twenty two. Yes. Uh, listen, listen and repeat. No. L letter, letter. No, it's page 122, part A. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So, street, ST, city. Okay, what's number three? Number three, dry, dry boulevard. Well, just drive DR and then Louisa, number four. Number four, Lane, L A. Yes. And number five, Matthew. Rod R D. And number six, Nancy. Boulevard B L B D. And number seven, Lena. Apartheid City One. APT. All right. We have about 10 minutes and we're going to look at the envelope that's here. This, this picture, um, it has a stamp on it. It has, this is who sent it and this is who it goes to. Mm -hmm. So who sent the um, envelope? What's his Gustavo name? Gustavo Pineda. And what's his address? 9106. Fiverr Road, apartment in 115, Chicago, Illinois. And what's his zip code? Uh, CTC23. All right. All right. And then someone tell me who he's writing it to. Who did he dress the letter to? Winding Apartments. And it was a certain person there. It doesn't give a name, but it gives its position. Mm -hmm. Manager. He's the one in charge of the apartments. A manager, yes. <laughs> okay. And what's the Windy Apartments address? 777. Uh, 54 Park Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 6647. Okay. Now, using the inv information on the envelope, 
read the envelope again, part C, and circle A or B. So you have a question, and then you have two possible answers. Finish. Finish. Okay. So, um, Lena, who is the, uh, number one? Who, who is the letter from? Uh, B, Gustavo Pineda. Yes. And number two, Luisa? What is the return address? It's number B, 7754 Park Avenue. No, the return address is the address under Gustavo's name. So it's 9106 River Road, apartment 115. Mm -hmm. So it's part A. Do you see well, that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so so you put your name and then you put your address and you're the one sending it. Now, the 7754 Park Avenue is who it's going to. So that's number three. Where is the letter going? It's going to part, number B, 7754 Park Avenue. Okay? Okay. So number um, four, Matthew. What is the zip code for Windy Apartment? And what's the answer? The zip code is that five digit number at the end of the um, address at the after the state. So it's six zero six four seven. It's A. A. Yes. And you see, I have highlighted the answers here. All right. Now then, Nancy, what's number five? What is Mr. Pineda's zip code? Letter A six zero six two three. All right, any questions? I have a question, Miss Iwanda. Um, yes. The abbreviation 
in English. You say use period in the end. If if you're writing something like an address, a lot of times you will, but that's not what you're going to see on the street signs. And really you don't have to use the period like it shows here, like a Mr. Pineda's address road. It, it has RD period. You don't have to have that. Okay. Especially because on an envelope. Because in Spanish, use the, the period in the end. Oh, you do? Okay. okay. So it doesn't matter, but the post office doesn't require it here. Oh. Although I will put a larger space after the RD. Okay. Like between the road, the RD, and the apartment. I'll put a little bit larger space to make it clear. Okay, this is something different. Okay. Something like that. But actually the, uh, in fact, the post office doesn't even require the comma after the city. Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess so. people are so lazy that the post office says, okay, this is what they're gonna do, so we'll just let them do it. <laughs> oh God, thank you, okay. All right, it's time to go. And it's good to have you, Louisa and Matthew. Now, this is the same, we'll have this next week and pretty much every week, um, we'll talk about holidays when they're coming up. Actually, today is a holiday and some of the schools didn't meet today mm -hmm. because it was a holiday. So, um, but most stores and, and most um, the post office places like that actually uh, went ahead and worked. So we'll talk about what ahead of time, you know, two weeks from now we won't meet is the kind of thing that we'll talk about before we don't meet. So it's good to have you with us, and I hope to see you next week. Bye. Thank you, Mrs. Wanda. Have a good day. Thank you. Have a good night. <laughs> Sorry. Thank yeah, you. you have a good night. And when you're saying your prayers, remember Norma Guzman and her family. I think yeah. that would be so hard. Yes. Today, my, my aunts died by COVID in Puerto Rico. <laughs> It's hard, it's dark. So are you, are you going to be able to go back to the funeral or no? No, really no. no. Um, someone in my church, her father died and he's in Canada and she has COVID and she can't go to the funeral. No, maybe she don't have funeral because she died the, the COVID. Yeah. She stayed two weeks in the house sick and when go to the hospital, it's late. Yeah. It was late. Yeah. This COVID is really bad. Mm -hmm. The good thing is I'm in Springfield. Nancy is getting Gallatin. <laughs> Lena is in Venezuela. Luisa and Matthew are in Colombia. And <laughs> we're meeting. We wouldn't be able to do this in person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the you, other good thing you, is I have a recording. You are a teacher international. That's right. You are a teacher international teacher. Yes, right. ma'am. Lena's right. So if you want to see this recording again on the the place where you had you were given the re, uh, information of this um, meeting I'll put the recording information and basically you can click on that and watch the recording again okay so you okay. can watch it as many times as you want <laughs> <laughs> international
<laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, and here's something more interesting. Lena is the mother of Luis, and Luis's uh, assistant. My son. Is, yes, your he is your son, and her uh, his assistant is Luis's what cousin or aunt or. Um, I can't remember her relationship, but anyway, so these are related, uh, everyone's related to the people in the office here, <laughs> except Nancy and I. <laughs> okay, so everybody okay. have a good week. Thank See you, you next week. Take care. Thank you.